what's up guys so after spending quite a bit of time just exploring the whole of a uh, Riga Filka now we're just gonna start from where Kyotvis fortress is and we'll be making our way to the story quest birthrights here we go attack on site here. Stealth. But the good thing is, you know, like uh, with our boy Ivor, even if things get a little bit nasty, he's able to hey, sort things out.
Survey the area, Zulu. What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need. Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner. Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack, but we must first practice our raiding. <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid. Three wolves and I will be forced to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. They arrived at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. To war! Ah! <laughs> the prey has no time to run. No time to even blink. As his trachea is ripped out through his neck. Oh no! Mama! Mama! His bones shatter on impact! His insides are all outsides now! <laughs> ah, some graphical bugs in there. The big wolf smashes pots and bodies alive. successful raid yes with your help we slaughtered the raven clan for good the raven clan you say yes just like shot the stories one day i'll be just like him countless young raiders i'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day
Wow. Level defense is a very big thing, man. Holy crap. Too high, they just killed him like one or two hits. Hmm. Okay. And I need to get that first assassination right. Countless young raiders. I'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day. even afford to get hit once okay this is challenging okay it's only 10 xp each i think because i don't think they scale the xp to how um you know tough the enemies are just that an enemy is just worth how much xp and yeah, really i think um raiders. like they had I'll in the other assassin's creed games day. right where they had like the level gate it's sort of geared and steered your explosion towards a certain path where you knew there were some places that were just a little bit hard, you know, like you couldn't get there in time. So you had to, you know, do things in a different way. So I think this is just one of those uh, things. Your worm food! Kill that guy to get his, uh, I'll loot. see you wolves on another battlefield one day. I really, really want that loot. Uh, 
I'll finish you! Jesus! What the hell? Oh, I think this is gonna be a. Uh, this video is gonna be like one of my massive like uh, fail videos. How to keep dying in uh, Assassin's Creed. Countless young raiders. I'll see you. I have no idea why. Like, like uh, his, he's got like a sticky to his attack. So even though that there's range, it just zooms right into me, and then I'm done, right? Okay, you know what? I might. Uh, let's, I'm gonna just, just try one more time. If I feel down, just uh, do something else. Why not? I should just kill the uh, berserker first. Maybe I do that. Countless young raiders. I'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day. Yes, you know, if you're so under level, you just gotta sneak, sneak, sneak all the way. No toys about it. Oh crap, one or two hits in the dead. Yeah, the level. Dying for eleven silver. My God. Man. That was painful. Holy crap. And you know, the moment he hit before he can even like heal, he just he just get it. Yeah, the level gate is real, man. Like earlier on, I tried to fight uh, one of the uh, uh, Drangers from uh, Ragnar Lothbrok's Drangers. Same thing, man. I think I, I went online to just check a guy and said he needed to be at least level 50 to make it worth your while. Well, 
much you get from the like if it did you could do that and um the townspeople would just uh, call the sheriff and back in the day doing like a man you know like livestock you know, taking a man's horse is like punishable by death easily and just for the mats i probably just uh made the farmer Stuff through the meter. No, gnarly. It's cool. Mark of death. Yeah, uh, um, archery seems to work, especially when you hit them in the weak spots. Then, like, uh, I think they lose all the stun. You can just go in for a stun attack, which will greatly improve their health. I did uh, one of the uh, ones where I just can't die to that uh, super high power guys. Same thing. Very useful. Maybe there might be like an auto aim kind of uh, skill later on. I don't know. But I think that'll be very useful. Go, my eyes. See, Sunan. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. These are locally sourced. Are you sure there isn't uh, something else you? Can I tell people this used to be yours? 
Have you looked at everything? I have to go. See you soon. Okay, I think, uh, to be honest, I should start upgrading some of my gear. That might be what's uh, holding me back. for the Russian upgrade. Hello, friend. Come see my wares. Made with the finest ingredients. I'm giving you such a good deal. Buy it, buy it, stop. Saves me time from just hunting and uh, gathering. Wonderful! Can I tempt you with some? No refunds. I must be on my way. and then let me down with a tiny twig. Freya's beard, it has wilted again. I cannot remain firm when you talk to me like that. Does everyone in Alrekstad play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. After a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding! That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... Well, all right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid! A raid? Now? Join me in the blood. It is... Uh... Amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! <laughs> so we when I upload stuff to YouTube, one thing I found out was that they asked, Is this content for children? Well, as you can tell, probably not.
house. Okay, let's try that. Survey the area, Sunan. Okay, so the house is not burning down, so let's try that again. Maybe let's go over here. Show me. What did it? I am as hard as Heimdale's tower. Okay. Then run me like the Valkyrie skates and enter Valhalla. Take all oh. plunder you want, Vikinger, and take us also and let the love hunger consume you. Another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. <laughs> help myself to your chest. Wow. This guy. I think a bit about Odyssey. I know that the locals can give you hypothermia. Hate me, be my eyes. Yes. 
Let's see you all. So you know that you are so close to like what's supposed to be a friendly uh, story quest, and there's these you know, high-level fools around, right? Kind of basic immersion, you know, like, like uh, you're invited to go to this party. Everyone's okay. Oh, by the way, every now and then there's gonna be three guys that walk around that really wanna mess you up. Yeah, just, you know, it's not cool, man. Not cool. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seed stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim. Watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kjotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice. Shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his cabin. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. <laughs> And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. 
in case I wasn't clear, you need to put up your hood for the trick to work. It's like, I gotta teach you a trick, was it? Hey man, pull up your hood, then no one knows you're there. Really? Seriously? Probably five years old? Alright, I'll bite. Let's see what this guy's got. <laughs> Home is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on the spit. Are you coming? You are your shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shat into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
feel like I've always like will pop off for tattoo designs. Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Got a wager in you. Put your silver on the barrel. The hort it is. Let's go. Ah, we drink. <laughs> Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? for diplomatic talks. They were completely sloshed. Well done, Ivor. That's where his greatest hits come from. long speeches only when you're not giving them many of you knew my father half done the black a great man who achieved great things they buried half done's leg near our temple the crops have never grown tall <laughs> they buried his arse near ours and we get nothing but a muddy river <laughs> i dream of something greater a vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen united under one king one rule too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Ljuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. 
My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Background, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kjortve's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? So I can ask to banish, you know, then I can go and kill him myself later. If I could say kill, which the king would do. But if we were wise about it and we ask the king to decide, then we can have a better idea of where the king stands, right? You know, since he was an alliance and he did offer King Steerborn so much of his uh, resources and um, all his men. And he did play a big part in wiping out the you know, so let's see. I'll try this one. You are king of these lands, Harald. The decision must be yours. A modest and honorable answer. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harald, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me! Not a word! And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You'll drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear change, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. And earlier on, he had these visions where... Um, Valkar the Seeress did say that he is fated to betray Sigurd. So seeking Valhalla is you know, probably for his own glory. I do not know my fate. Uh, it's a little bit wishy-washy for a guy that just you know like you know cuts down fools left, right, and center, right? So, sticking to his principles, I'm bound to Sigurd. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. It will be best for us both if you left Norway. To avoid the heat that comes with such friction. I have no ambition to rule. Only to live and die with glory. 
That may be. But however firmly we make our choices, it is fate that decides our outcome. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Arrow's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Adrenaline's slow, man. I'll go a long way. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask. Are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Fornberg, warrior. Yeah, um... We won't be nice. happy. Mm -hmm. You heard that Harold is banning raids in all of Norway? I did. Does that not bother you? If we cannot raid anyone, they cannot raid us. Oh, a fair thought. Welcome. This is available for purchase. Right, time to buy out the store. Got a feeling uh, King Harold give us a... As diplomatically as a king would. Smart to outright. buy these. That you know, his uh, subject. I can fetch be. this if you want. Doesn't want to ab you know abdicate this role, right? Like Sigurd wants to be king as well. He made it outright, you know, known. So, yeah, smart. It's a smart purchase. It's like uh. This is available. That's all you need. What you call it? I have to go. Like a bit of a suggestion, a friendly suggestion. You know, like, oh, you want to be king as well? Sorry, only room for one bad boy. Please leave. Thank you very much. Oh, your dad? Your dad can stay. He follows the rules. He's cool. So I guess this is how the whole thing is gonna go. How can I help?
Uh, there's a whole bunch of other things, right? No, I'm just gonna stick to this combination for now. Do you need anything else? Do you need I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. And soon after they will be living in our homes. Keep your voice down, they will hear you. Fine by me. If those backgrounds come to our door, I will carve them new shitholes. You know, already you not happy with what's going on. So, uh... <laughs> I do it. Not a good time to ask for a tattoo. Probably not. With a combat zero situation awareness. Look soon at that. <coughs> right, let's see where this takes us. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. It will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back! The wars will never end! Oh, they would... Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own! Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Hmm, that's the thing, right? So, you know, as far as packing order goes, King Styrborn was, you know, the king. Sigurd's gonna be the next in line. And he here we have our boy Ivor, who's supposed to be his sworn brother, right? Since the king took him in as his adopted son. So even though they're as close as brothers go, there's still the issue of a bloodline. Now, as honor demands, Ivor did kill Kyotve in single combat, so he does have a right. However, if he does that and takes resources away from the king, it's going to be an insult. So, right now, Sigurd thinks that it's going to be an insult, and thanks to pride, he wants to start from you know afresh, right? But here's the thing. Uh, you know, with the Vikings or with any of these um, feudal or or um, warlike cultures, right? You know, any grudge or perceived grudge can be taken literally and just dug out from the past, you know, and just thrown in the context and says, "All right, let's let's fight now," and we wouldn't want that. And I think, man, like 
me as a player I will want to take the resources to England and you know but I think uh, as Ivor he will you know defer to Sigurd because don't forget he has got the cloud of betrayal hanging over him he is still haunted by the visions and what the serious Valka has said that you will betray your brother so he'll be staying you know in line as much as possible so we're gonna leave the resources for Steerborn. if you object I understand let your father keep Kyotra's riches England will have riches and cargo enough for us good I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. So that makes me think maybe the tough, you know, the tough mothers that I killed early on were Harold's troops. <coughs> ah, there she is. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. So yeah, my accidentally killed some heralds. Elite troops, because you know, I thought they were red, right? Means they're the enemy. But, uh, we'll see. Alright. So, do I have any skills? Ah, nah. Alright, power 27. Let's try to hit 50. Go, my eyes. Alright. Damn, I thought I could like, glide down. <laughs> I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? Would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you Moon Knight magpie, leaving you with a little soldier to race by yourself. Ah, kid. See you around. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Not yet. I have a few things to settle first. What's so I'm missing a uh, two... Two mysteries. Then where could they be, huh? I thought I was so certain that I finished everything here. I might be able to come back and get that sorted later. But first, on with the story. Are you ready to set sail, Eivor? I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. 
Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May I give bliss your voyage. Okay, raw material supplies. Alright, so new units of measurement or like uh, uh, new resource types which I think uh, we could only probably get from the raid. Fair enough. Alright, so that's their ship. Hmm. I don't know, seeing a ship full of red beside a ship full of blue uh, makes me think that this might not end as uh, peacefully as you think it would. Just because. Oh. Oh dear. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> ah, says this me. Crack me up. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd. What's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart, and we mean to join their army. They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclad and the glory he brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! For Valhalla! Then the big game begins. I love it. I love how much time I just spent before this whole thing started. It's kind of cool. Electrolytes. 
Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Okay, so... I guess after a chapter of Ivo's story, you go back to the so-called present with uh, Leila Hassan, if I'm not wrong, that's her name. Um, also the main character after Desmond Miles met his demise in... I can't remember, was it uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag? But yeah, this uh, back and forth with the future and present thing. Um, I think they're doing it better now, but I'm still not a fully convinced. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Walk into town, then use this. Another satellite. Damn. Probably bought this in a coffee shop somewhere in Concord. I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty, minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. That's quite nice. Soothing. Let's have a look. <laughs> uh, yep. Everywhere, COVID.
stuff to listen to here. Well, I'm just going to pause this for a bit. And we're going to come back later. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah. I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Sean has been busy.
You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Right, back to the real game. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, come in. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. see any land at all I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again we must not rush our landing all you see here is Saxon territory the kingdom of Mercia largely unpacified there will be eyes watching us from the trees with bows drawn and traps set we must be wary Randy take in your oars all standing have you spotted something not yet but let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery. A place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off!
Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doc. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. If someone has to keep the conversation up, it must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease, sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure then? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boats. Hey, pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dag. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. What are you doing? Show me. Guards here are vigilant. Of course, that spear thrust took care of those desires last summer. Well, at least being able to satisfy. Hope the stew's hot today. I do miss the old fishman. Well, his daughter. Woof! <laughs> I didn't mind the smell. Sunan, guide me. This chain is huge, and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. Hmm. So where are we? 
wait for us. This is good. Oh, titanium. Holy crap. Sigurd, give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havgan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, and all of us will starve. <laughs> Have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he... For, it. for my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What the giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins stopped the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be... We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! 
No more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Show me what lies ahead. Find at least one of those fools squirreled away somewhere. With those brigands as well? Sigurd, in back! In here! Those men had prisoners. You. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses, and, well, I did. 
till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragna, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable. To keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers, into friends, into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorp, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? 
Short notes mostly. Scraps of plans, old letters, a few messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Alright guys, what a journey it's been so far. I'm gonna stop this video right here and then do a recording of the next part of the gameplay where we settle down, speak to Gunnar and start our conquest of England. Thank you so much and if you do like the video, please just subscribe, leave a like, you know, add any comments down in the section down below if you'd like to see any more kinds of gameplay and we'll get back to you. Peace out.